So that's the tool magnet, which will get you like keywords. Uh, let's click on the analyze keywords uh, tool, which by the way, you can enter up to 200 keywords, which will give you a detailed summary of up to 200 keywords of which interests you. And it'll tell you what's worth keeping using filters and organizing keywords that matter most. So if we were to take this keyword here, uh, as well as uh, sage candles for cleansing house, and we added in uh, sage and sage incense and stuff like this, and then hit enter. Let's see what it does when we analyze the keywords. This is a part, part of the tool I don't use very much, but what you do get is a keyword summary, the average search volume, um, some of the, the search volume distribution and word frequency. Um, and down here, you can see additional information. When you click on this button, it'll actually load um, over on Amazon. I own 2% of the market share for Sage as a term, uh, which is kind of cool. And, and then, uh, and I got that data from uh, the brand search query performance report, which you can see right here. So I get 2.5% of all the search cart ads. Let's scroll to the far right. I get 5% of the impressions. 4% of the clicks. So in this case, I have what's called a tornado. Um, and that is when I'm, I've got more of a higher percentage at the top of the funnel and it shrinks as it goes down. Um, in the instance of Sage Candles Cleansing House, I had a pyramid. So let's pull up that back on screen to explain this. The impression count down here was lower than my clicks, which was lower than my add to carts, which made a pyramid shape. What this means is I need to focus on the traffic of the listing because the conversion rate improved against the market share of all of the competing products, all of the competitors. Keep in mind these percentages right here from the search query performance report are indicative of how I am doing against all other products. Therefore, your marketing funnel, if you have a pyramid or a tornado, depending on the shape, it will tell you you have a problem either with traffic or you've got a problem with conversion. And in this particular instance, when I have a pyramid, it's a problem with traffic. And so you want to go in and buy more traffic. You want to spend more on PPC. You want to work more keywords into the listing. And that's the greatest uh, example here with Sage Candles for Cleansing House. So really good informative information inside of that report. We used magnets uh, just now. And the next tool we're going to go over to is going to be the misspellinator. So this is a misspellings checker. Of course, do not have permission to view this. Thank you, Helium 10. Uh, all right, so let's scroll over here. Click on this. We're going to go to the Stephen Pope drop down. This is the worst thing about Helium 10 is if you have an enterprise plan, it, it bugs out all the time. I, I, I constantly complain, but it falls on deaf ears over there.